this is kind of interesting because I, I, you know, I, I did, I, we mentioned this earlier, but I, I'm going on a whole different, I have to like change my lifestyle. Yeah. What's going on? Well, I got a doctor now, a new doctor. Mm-hmm. He's called Dr. Dan. I call him Dr. Dan because I can't pronounce his last name. But his first He's name a fan is, of this show. His first name is Dan. Dan. So it's Dr. Dan, who is a fan. Dr. Dan, the fan. He's the man. He's the man with the plan. And, uh, and he likes this show. He's a, he, so he obviously wants me to continue existing. Right. So I got some, my cholesterol's fine. Okay. Blood work's fine. Heart's fine. Mm-hmm. But I got, blood work came back in a couple of things. In that I have pre-diabetes, pre-diabetic insulin levels. Right. So I'm right there at the edge. And your blood is 90 proof. My blood is 90 proof. <laughs> Kareem's drunk off my blood. <laughs> and uh, I... Just the smell of it. <laughs> just smelling my blood. Got him all high. And then, uh, and then I got uh, uh, wonky uh, uh, liver enzymes. So basically Gee, he's how'd saying... how'd that happen? It's mystifying. I have no idea. <laughs> my liver's messed up. You didn't need Dr. Dan to tell you. <laughs> you can tell by looking at you. <laughs> it's like people just know. Like, I just met this guy like a week ago, and he's like, you know, you may want to cut down on the wine. I listened to your show the other day, and you drank a whole bottle of wine during the debates. I'm like, didn't you? <laughs> he's, he's like, no. <laughs> Maybe I need to cut down a little. <laughs> and my wife's like, I got a fat liver. I got a fat liver. I have a fat liver, man. As I have gotten fat, so is my stinking liver. Duh. So I need to, like, I got to start eating, according to my doctor, real food. Oh, no. And I said, what do you mean by that? <laughs> he says, food that goes bad in the refrigerator at some point. <laughs> Not food that you can bury in a hole in the backyard, yeah. come back 300 years later, just pop it in the microwave and still eat it. Perhaps food that's never been frozen. Right. Right. Processed stuff. Because yeah. my, my wife fixes dinner every night, but I eat a lot of processed crap. A lot of Totino's pizzas, you know, and Hot Pockets and crap like that. Kalachis. Kalachis. Well, I'm not giving up the kalachis. I'm still going to have one kalachi a day. Jamaican meat pies? Yeah, I can't do the Jamaican meat pies. And I got to pull back on the drinking, so because, you know, I got a fat liver. All of a sudden, three liquor stores on the northwest side going out of business. Uh, I just, they're, they're, I'm just going out of business. Sorry, guys. Your biggest fan is, is going away, man. And you just got the okay to smoke more pot and get the munchies. Well, I'm just, I'm just going to smoke more pot and not oh. get the munchies. There you go. I'm kidding, of course. I don't smoke pot. It's it's illegal and wrong. Only it's not that illegal anymore. It's kind of it's, illegal. It's not that wrong either. What's that? It's kind of illegal. It's kind of illegal. Yeah. It's still. I mean, federally, it's illegal. Right. Under four ounces, it's fine right here in San Antonio. It would have no impact on your liver function. No, 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 no. whatsoever. Not I mean, you've put you know three the families of three liquor store owners through college. I have. <laughs> I was just like, maybe you need to pull back on the wine a little bit. I was like, what about the vodka? <laughs> Does that include the vodka? <laughs> so, you know. But it has fruit in it it's, it's pineapple. It's pineapple flavored vodka. You just told me to eat more fruits. Come on, man. What about pickles? It's, it's distilled with potatoes. You said eat more vegetables. Pickle shots have pickles in there. Pickles. It used to be a cucumber. That's a vegetable, isn't it? Right. Blah. So anyway, <laughs> I hope he's out there listening. He's laughing his ass off. Uh, so yeah, so I'm, I'm going to become extremely boring now. I got a very boring life. It's just going to be very boring. Well, I'm sure you anything fun. You know, I've known you for six years. I'll come up with some other interesting habit before too long. Oh, yes. I think I will. Anyway. <laughs> Honey, where's all my hairspray? I had three cans of hairspray. I don't know, honey. Anyway. <laughs> Mushrooms are healthy. <laughs> Look, at it, we're making like, I'm making jokes about drinking hairspray and Chris is bringing up mushrooms. They're almost <laughs> legal too. Almost. I'll just go to, ma- I'll just go to hallucinogens. No more booze, honey. I'm only going to go with hallucinogenics and pot from here on out. Okay. So you tell your friend the talking kangaroo. <laughs> Standing right behind you to go get a job. 